Welcome to a new video. If you're new here, my name is Kim. I'm a third year, fifth grade teacher in West Michigan. And last week was crazy. Lots of kids coming and going, and I just don't really wanna get too into that. Last week, I was really just feeling the weight of being a teacher in 2020 and all of the different things that come with that and trying to navigate like close contacts and like where kids were and dropping off packets every day after school for kids to work on who had to be quarantined. And it was just a lot. Fingers crossed that this week will be better. We got some interesting news last night. Um, governor Whitmer, who is the governor of Michigan, she came on yesterday and announced that there has been a decision made to have all eight through 12 schooling, no, nine through 12 schooling online for the next three weeks. And then my district made the announcement last night that they're having all six through 12 schooling online. So the only people in person are going to be elementary, pre-K through five over the next three weeks. So you guys, it's just a lot. It's just a lot, lot, lot. So this week, I'm just going to control what I can, which is not a whole lot, but it's what's going on in my classroom and what I'm teaching to my students. And I'm gonna hope for the best <laughs> because that's honestly all I can do. And I'm just praying about it and praying that my students stay safe and know that they are so incredibly loved and that even if they can't be here in person, I am still thinking about them and caring for them from afar. So with that being said, I do need to prep a few things this morning. I'm also like super tired because I did not sleep very well last night. So, you know, just gonna be slow moving this morning, but that's okay. Um, I think I do have one copy to make a quick second actually too, something that I forgot to make the other day. So I might run down and make my copies. And I do wanna tell you guys some of the cool things we've been doing on Chromebooks pretty soon. We actually started being one-to-one -one on Chromebooks last week, so woot woot. Um, so that's been really, really great just having them available because before we had the four fifth grade classes all sharing one cart. And so it was really challenging to get the cart when we wanted it or when we felt like we needed it um, so anyways I'm excited to have those in the room and it's definitely helped me to embed more apps and websites and stuff into my everyday teaching so that way if we do go remote at any point hopefully the kids will be familiar with the platforms that we're learning on so we've been using like Nearpod just Google Slides Google Forms pretty much everything in Google Suite. We've used Jamboard a little bit. And so that's just been really great to play around with with my students. So anyways, I need to go, like I said, prep a couple things this morning, but I will see you guys when I see ya. <laughs> <sighs> I'm so tired. <sighs> hey there guys, so now it is Thursday afternoon and I actually have stayed home the past few days. On Monday night, I took a nap right after work because I had a little bit of a headache and I was just super tired. And when I woke up from my nap, I had a sore throat, a headache, and I just felt super tired still. I did get a COVID test on Tuesday and I did get it back already and it says that I'm negative. I am still so tired. Today's the first day that I've really had enough energy to actually get up. I got ready sort of today. I mean, I'm still in like basically pajamas but I did kind of get ready but I am still so tired like I could totally take a nap right now and I probably will after I film this I want it around the cup but I should have done it before I filled it mm, that's really good I like it guys so now it is Monday and I actually am still home today and then tomorrow I am working from my house and then doing like remote learning with my students some of my students are remote right now some of them are in person but starting next week we will all be remote for I think seven school days as of right now so the cases in my area of COVID have been pretty high so that's what we need to do to stay safe and that's what all the area districts were doing as well so I think that will be good we practiced today 
and it went really really well honestly so much better than I thought it would so yay for that I basically had my iPad set up and then I had my MacBook and my MacBook was like my main like where I saw their faces the whole time and then I was screen sharing my iPad with my Google Slides and then also we did a Nearpod today which I am obsessed with Nearpod it is amazing seriously if you guys don't use it already I would highly recommend it it's awesome and it's so nice because you can like import your own slides or use lessons that are already created and then when you change the slide it changes on all of the kids devices as well so that's awesome I really enjoyed that today and we'll do that again tomorrow we didn't get quite all the way through it today so we'll do that tomorrow but I taught math today I taught reading we didn't ever get to writing but that's okay we did a little bit of social studies and overall I just felt like it went really really well so yay also I'm feeling completely better now so yay for that um, but like I said I do still have to work from home the next couple days we did put up the tree this weekend you guys can't really see it because I'm like sitting in front of the window so if I try to sit with the tree behind me then you won't see me at all you'll just see me like backlit so anyways we put up the tree this weekend and I will insert a couple of clips right now It is looking beautiful and it just makes me so happy to have the tree up and we're not like hosting Thanksgiving or anything this year so we felt like we could put it up early and I've just been busying myself with working on stuff for remote learning so honestly it's been a lot of work but it's been really really great. I did buy some slide templates from my friend Montana and they are amazing. I'll try to insert a little like screencast or something of them right now, but I'm seriously obsessed. She sells these on Teachers Pay Teachers and they are awesome. So I will link those below if you're interested. So anyways, I do actually have a meeting this afternoon in about half an hour. So I'm gonna get all set up for that. I think I might try to do that downstairs, we'll see. But yeah, I'm gonna get set up for that. And then I think that goes, I was thinking it only went until 5.15, but I actually looked it up, it goes until 5.45. So I know, 4.15 to 545 that's a long meeting. I don't really wanna go, but I have to, so. So anyways, I'm gonna go get ready for my meeting and then I will see you guys when I see ya. I don't know when that will be, but at some point. Now it is Tuesday and I'm just about to hop on a Google Meet with my students. Just like yesterday, some of the kids are going to be in person in the classroom and some will be at home and then I'm at home. I don't remember if I said already. Hold on, I need to restart the music. There we go. So I don't know if I said in a clip yesterday or not. I feel like when I was editing, I realized I didn't say anything about it, but I am home still. I'm quarantining based on exposure. So um, because I was around somebody who tested positive, I need to stay home just in case I were to develop symptoms and then same thing goes for some of my students as well so that's why like some of us are in person some of us are quarantining but I am excited to see them virtually they did such a beautiful job yesterday like seriously amazing I was so impressed so I'm excited to have them here today as well so right now I'm just kind of surrounded by stuff So it is many hours later now and here I am finally in front of the tree and it's dark outside like it is almost all the time now it feels like and so you can actually see the beautiful tree behind me isn't that exciting so I actually got a super fun package today but I don't know who it was from because I didn't get a note but I got in let me make sure I'm not showing my address here we go I got in this box from really good stuff and I was super confused at first because I did not order anything but I got a huge set of book boxes for my classroom which these were on my Amazon wish list so I don't know who donated these to my classroom but thank you so much to that person I'm so excited to use these I already was gifted another set as well and so um, I think I'm pretty close let's see I have two four six eight ten twelve yeah so that means I have enough book boxes right now to have one for every student in my class. Now, as I've mentioned in this vlog, we are going remote starting on Monday, so obviously I won't be using these anytime soon. But as of right now, we're only remote for like 
seven school days I think it's like not very long at all though I know other districts have announced that they're probably going to have theirs longer and stuff and so we'll see I don't really know what's going on I'm honestly just taking it day by day but if you are remote right now or you've been remote already or whatever and you have any tips for me or anything that's worked really well or whatever it might be I would love for you to leave that in a comment below and just kind of um, pick your brain a little bit and get some of your ideas because I know most people have been remote at some point this school year and we have not yet so I had my meeting with my students this morning and that went super well and then also today I took a nice long walk it actually snowed for the first time here today um, so far this season and so like nobody was outside and I brought a mask with me just in case but I literally did not see a single soul so anyways I walked about three miles I walked to the beach and it just kind of like walked all around and had a great time and so um, I did film just a little bit on my phone I don't know how it turned out but I will insert that right now so you can see the beach and my little walk. I think that is just about all for this vlog. I really hope that you guys enjoyed it and it was kind of nice to be filming at home a little bit again. I feel like I haven't really done that in a while and I was doing it so much over the summer and last spring and stuff and so it's kind of nice to just film little clips here and there. So let me know if you're okay with seeing that lifestyle content in these videos or if you want to keep it just like all school stuff. Next week I will be teaching from school and I would love to try to document that for you guys and like how remote learning is going and like what I'm doing and all that fun stuff. So I will try to film a vlog next week. Maybe it will be a little bit easier to film with the kids not actually physically in the room, but I don't know. We'll see what happens. But anyways, that is officially all for this vlog now that I've yammered on for quite a while. So if you guys enjoyed this vlog, please make sure to give it a thumbs up. Also make sure to subscribe by pressing that subscribe button below and turn on that post notification bell so you're notified every time I post a new video and that's all for me so I will see you guys next time bye guys